Good morning. Our gathering song today is number 759. Sing a new song. Number 759. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me, for me to the, the Lord, Lord of God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice and troubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who loves and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, concerning the salvation of our souls, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and investigated it, investigating the time and circumstances that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it testified in advance to the suffering destined for Christ and the glories to follow them. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, with regard to the things that have now been announced to you by those who preach the good news to you through the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, live soberly, and set your hopes completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Like obedient children, do not act in compliance with the desires of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in every aspect of your conduct. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The, the Lord, Lord has, has made, made known his, his salvation. salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord, the Lord has, has made, made known, known his salvation. salvation. 
The Lord has made known his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The, the Lord, Lord has made known, known his salvation. salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord, the Lord has, has made, made known, known his salvation. His Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Peter began to say to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you. There is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with the persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. But many that are first will be last. The last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the 1990s, two movies came up for Oscar nominations. It was the life story of two individuals. The first movie was about the life of Archbishop Oscar Romero, the Archbishop of El Salvador. The other individual was the dict former dictator of Uganda, Idi Amin. I'm not comparing here, contrasting their life and personalities. Oscar Romero, he stood for his people. He was voiced against the oppressions of the dictators and he paid the ultimate price. On the other hand, Idiomen is considered one of the most cruel dictators the world have ever seen. Now, when, when, now the world look back, Oscar Romero already started the process for his sainthood. People of El Salvador love his name, his legacy. And because of him, the world came to know 
about the suffering of the people. But what is now people in Uganda? That's a name they never like to hear. That part of the time and history that people and the world does not like to remember. The gospel passage of today. Peter comes up with a question. So they give up everything for the sake of the gospel. What are they going to gain? Jesus made it very clear. Whatever they give up, you know, family, brothers, or sisters, or land, possessions, they are going to receive it hundred times more in this world and the world that is to come. And he adds, with persecutions. You know, like Bishop, Archbishop Oscar Romero. As we are entering into this beautiful season of the season of Advent tomorrow, the gospel reminds us the same. We are all called upon to make small, small sacrifices for the sake of the gospel and which have which will have an impact not only on ourselves but on others as well you know, today's gospel passage comes with another beautiful one liner from the Lord those who consider themselves to be first you know powerful strong or having a lot of things in the kingdom of God or in the history of the world or in the hearts and the minds of the people could be their place would be last those who consider themselves last and be at the service of others make another human being a little more better human being their place will be much much greater in the hearts and minds of people as well as in friend of the Lord please rise Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, all the leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. Oh Lord hear our prayer. Missionaries working all over the world, especially those who face persecution, we pray to the Lord. Oh Lord hear our prayer. Christians all over the world, facing persecution for their faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. As our school family, everyone is on a spring break, traveling, visiting families, places, that the good Lord may keep them all safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Those who are in need and have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, Let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Tyler Page, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. The liturgy of today reminds us that we are invited, we are called upon to make small, small sacrifices for the sake of the kingdom. And Jesus reminds us, God is a generous giver. And as human beings, we can never outdo the Lord.
Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Brothers and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, uh, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. O oh God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with the devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as a source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving things broke it and gave it to his disciples say take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when suppose he ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the service command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the world, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your
God, from every sin and evil, and keep me always faith your commandments, and never let me part from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only see the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. We shall pray together. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Our sending him is number 761, all the earth. Number 761.